So I'm outside one of our local markets and I was hoping to get some blackberries from a public little bit of bush that someone's obviously chucked a seed in at some stage. I only got the one today. Time to have it now. Uh, yeah. I'll come back here in a week and see if we can get some blackberry. Oh, hang on a second. There's one up there. Oh, do you see that? Let me see if I can. Oh, there it is. Oh, I want it. I came all this way for these blackberries. I'm going to get that blackberry. All right. Well, not quite the bounty I was hoping for. Oh well. Take what wins you can. But this year I'm trying to make a bit of a focus of harvesting more from the land. So, so far I've got a few pinkies, which we'll cook up over the next few days. Um, I gave away a, a brim to a Vietnamese fellow yesterday. Uh, I've got some stuff from our garden as well. Now we're here getting blackberries, a lot of green ones. So I'll come back here in a week or so and, and see if we can fill up a little tray. All right, so that didn't exactly go as planned, uh, but that's okay. I've got my timing wrong. I'll go back in a week or so and I'll see if there's some more berries to pick. Um, I was hoping to get, you know, like a, a decent bowl full and, and maybe make up like a, a jam or like a relish somewhere, preserving them for a while. Um, but I, I've been thinking since the start of January about what my main focus is going to be for this year. Um, and I figured it out. It's going to be that I'm going to harvest as much food uh, from the earth as I possibly can. So, quote unquote, free food. Um, and that'll be stuff that, you know, I grow here in the, in the garden, um, you know, whether it be tomatoes, zucchinis, whatever. Um, it'll be the stuff that's sort of naturally occurring anyway. So a couple of examples of that would be like the nasturtiums. It's just almost like a pest, plague proportions. They've got really nice flowers like that. Uh, but the flowers are a little bit bitter, um, but the pollen is kind of sweet. So you, you can eat that. That's really, really nice. Um, pig face that's been growing down the median strip you find on sand dunes all sorts you can pickle that you can eat that um, here's some dandelion leaves I just picked out of the front you know, now usually they come with a yellow flower there's no fresh flowers for me to show you today but you know it seems to be the way of this day um, and even when I was there there was some other stuff around the corner so there was a whole bunch of herbs uh, that the community market has been growing and then they all pop through the fence so you can actually grab them from from that side of the fence because that's public property um, and if you walk around the corner there was some really cool stuff so there was um, a passion fruit tree that had passion fruits growing on them um, they were green so they weren't ripe uh, there were olive trees um, what else was there that I saw oh there's bucket grass as well so that that's something that uh, we have here big sprawly things of grass and they've got these seed sticks these sticks full of seeds that you can um, dry and mill into a flower or you can just eat them as is um, so that's really cool so there's like a whole bunch of food that's just sitting there um, and chooks here we get lots of eggs for comparison the smallest chook lays this the other chooks lay this look at that what a monster cool thing with these ones is the, the real massive ones you can see I don't know if you can see on there, but there's little ripples almost where they've um, they've had to take a little pregnant pause and, and think about their life and if they're going to be able to get that out of their backside. So that's really cool. Um, between that and um, fishing and, and going out with the bow, I think I'm going to be able to harvest a lot of food off the land rather than, you know, like this, the saying that keeps going through my head is um, from the earth, not the aisle. I'm sure it's been said and done before, um, but... Yeah, it just came to me and I really liked it, so I've sort of stuck with that. Um, so, I've, like I said in the other bit, like I've got a few fish so far this year. Um, definitely gonna take the bow out as well. Um, I'm gonna keep a bit of a diary of all of the stuff that I harvest so that I can look at it at the end of the year and get a bit of perspective, um, but also as a bit of instructional manual, you know, like what's occurring in February, what's occurring in March, where is it occurring, what time of day, what do you need, all that kind of stuff is um, really useful information for the future. Um, but the rules I've got around it are, are quite simple. Uh, if I didn't bring it home, it doesn't go on the list. So that means, um, like with a fish that I was trying to catch uh, last week, which I'll show you now. A little wrecky now at half past six. Literally, the moment it hits the. There we go. There we go. Got one. Oh, he's all right too. I can't force him. 
Oh, oh we got off. Oh. Damn, boy. So that guy, that does not get included because I didn't bring it home. Um, but another one, which I have made myself a little primitive burly box. And look what I'm dragging out of the sea with this shit. So that one, we brought home, cooked it up. Um, I'll either show you that at the end of this video or it'll be in another one. Um, so that goes on. Uh, there was a brim that I caught yesterday, but I gave it to a Vietnamese bloke. I've chucked it on the list because technically someone brought it home. Um, so yeah, if I caught it but I didn't bring it home, whether it was undersized or it snapped off or um, you know my, my arrow missed, um, whatever it is, it doesn't go on the list. Simple as that. So it's mainly for consuming. Um, but yeah, so my focus for this year is, is pretty well set. Very quickly, um, so I made this up last week and it's actually it's not very even right now but we'll oh, there we go that's better um, so basically what this is is a little grill station really so it sits over the fire here and I put my food on here and then I wrap it around in, in banana leaves and trees and whatever um, and this essentially acts as like an oven slash smoker combo kind of thing really really cool um, did some fish on that last week um, which I think I'll show you here the fire's going and it's gonna burn 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 I don't mind the heat that it's generating like that's awesome but the size of the fire is a bit of an issue Um, but I'm gonna add to this sucker Such a simple design, but it's working really really well for me so Next time I cook on it, I'll get a good video